All right, hello and welcome to Wikidata's 12th birthday. Uh, we have some nice little presentation for you. We're going to be going through the birthday presents from the community and from, from us. Um, we're going to start off with a blog post uh, called Briefing, the Verden Bayern. Please enable cookies. Uh, Lydia, do you want to take us through that? Sure, I can. Don't laugh at my accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a second to actually share my screen so you can see what we are looking at. <laughs> There is a beautiful list of birthday presents, and maybe I'll send the link. link in the chat if you want to follow along at home or wherever you might be. In a bit, and yeah, number one in the list, we have a blog post um, by Slup, um, which is part of the uh, libraries in Saxony, in Germany. And they've wrote a, written a very nice blog post um, about Wikidata and the events that they do locally. Um, highly recommend checking it out. Uh, Lydia, do you want to show, give everyone a correct pronunciation of the um, of the title? <laughs> Not just mine. <laughs> you mean we are in fire? <laughs> yes, please, thank you very much. Uh, and next on the list, we're going to go through a tool. Uh, called Lexica. Um, I can read it, but maybe Lydia can give us a little bit more in depth. Not even because we have Raisha here, I see. Raisha, do you want to talk about Lexica? Special guest. Special guest. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, here uh, we also have uh, our team here. We have Hari, Kenny, and also Ivana. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, Maria as well as Kim from Wikimedia Deutschland uh, as part of our project. So for this one, uh, Hari is going to be the one who presented. it. Okay, Hari, go on. Hello everyone, um, can I share my screen? Please do. Yes. <coughs> okay, so Mm, can you see it? Uh, the slide I share? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I will start. Um, hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Hari. And I'm here to present a gift for Wikidata's 12th birthday. And allow me to introduce Lexica, a web-based micro-contribution tool that helps you to contribute to, lexi to lexicographical data in Wikidata. Lexica is easy to use and mobile-friendly allowing you to contribute on the go right from your smartphone. Try Lexica now. You can access the link or scan the QR code from your screen. Lexica is still under active development and we are working to improve it based on your feedback. If you have any suggestions or find any issues, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our email address and other links are posted in the chat. Thank you and happy contributing from us the Wikidata Software Collaboration Team from Indonesia. Happy birthday, Wikidata. Oh, thank you so much. That's really cool. I love that. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to start digging in and contributing. Um, next one we have is an extension I like to call Waki, <laughs> uh, which is a multilingual ex extension. Um, Lydia, talk us through that one. You had a really good... I actually have people here who worked on it. I Woo! really good do you wanna show it. All right. Very nice to meet you all. And I'm one of the team members of uh the wiki wiki data uh, one click info, which is uh Woki, if you want to call it like that. So it's an extension like the description is saying that enables you to to search for a word that you come across anywhere that you come across online. So uh, if you don't mind, I would like to share my screen a little bit. We have it on Chrome and uh, Mozilla Firefox. So you can all access it. When you go to Chrome Web Store, you add it to your to your browser and then you open it from here. So there, we have also uh, the dark and light uh, mode. So it depends on the mode that you are using with your device or your computer, right? And we have different languages here. So in case you want to look for a word, like you are visiting websites, for example, let me see, hello, here like this. 
and you want to look for the definition of the word hello, you just select the word and you select the, sorry, let me try that again. Uh, okay, let's say release. You select the word and then you select the extension and they will give you seven different description of the word that you've selected, right? And if you want a further explanation of the word, you can you can click, you select it, and it takes you to uh, the Wikipedia page, which you can have a lot of descriptions or a different explanation of the word that you are you are looking for, right? Uh, the extension also has different languages, so from English. Uh, German, French, uh, and uh, African local uh, languages, Ewe, uh, Chui, Igbo. So different languages that you can switch. For example, if I want to switch to French, just select the French language, and then it changes everything to French for me to have a better look of everything, right? So uh, we have also, like I said, the light and dark mode, depending on your the mode that you are using on your, your computer. Yes, and so so basically that's it for, for, for the extension. Like I said, on Mozilla Firefox and uh, Google Chrome, if you want to, to, to use it, you can just add it to your to your extent to your browser, sorry, and then you enjoy it. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for the run through, Kevin. Um I had a play with it after we looked at it this morning and it's a very, very helpful tool um i hope you all we sent a link if you want to add it to your browser all right next up we have one from the wikimedia germany team called the wikidata map yeah talk us through that lydia <laughs> wikidata maps we love maps um and as you might know uh for a long time we've had the wikidata map that shows you all the places uh, or all the items that have a geo coordinate on Wikidata. Um, and what we've done is update it with new data. Um, and now you can go to it. Um, this is the code repository. And if you go here, you can actually go to the, um, to the tool itself, um, which shows you uh the geographic distribution across the globe of all the items we have on wikidata and you can uh, set it to do um different uh intensity levels for example or have it show different properties um and in this case uh, i'm going to set it to 100 here and it will start to build up the map in a beautiful way um and of course if you want, you can uh, go back in time as well to compare how Wikidata, uh, what Wikidata covers today versus what it did 10 years ago, for example. Yeah, so that's a nice way for you to see uh, how Wikidata changes over time. Incredible. So beautiful. Um, and now that we've changed our motto to Wikidata loves maps, <laughs> Uh, we have another Wikidata map. More maps. More maps. We love maps. We do. Take us through that one, uh, Lydia. Uh, which is a map. It's the person who made that map around. Who wants to talk about it? No? Okay, then I will open it. Here. We have another map, um, which is similar. Um, here, the nice thing is you can easily uh, zoom in, for example, let's zoom in. Oh, I was a bit too, too quick. Uh, trying to zoom into Berlin, where we are, which is this bright area here. <laughs> and I think we are somewhere here, maybe. Yeah. So if you want to go into all the details, this is uh, where you can uh, go and have a slightly different look at geographic distribution 
off Wikidata straight up on a map. Incredible. Oh, I love all the dots. Um, <laughs> so many dots. Just love all the dots. Um, and the next one we have, we've all had a bit of trouble with Sparkle in the past, uh, but we have a cheat sheet about Sparkle. Uh, do you want to talk about that, Lydia? Is the person who built the cheat sheet around? Memento. All right, then I will talk about the cheat sheet, uh, which is in French right now, but it will be translated um, into English and other languages in the future. Uh, but it's a really handy overview of all the things you might easily forget when writing a Sparkle query, um, like uh, how optional union minus and filter exist, for example work um, or the different um, uh, commands like prefix select where and so on. So it's a really thorough overview of all these things. So you have a nice little cheat sheet um, for you to look things up. And if someone uh, wants to uh, help translate it, um, I believe you should reach out to Pierre Yves um, to uh, let him know that you're up for uh, translating this into more languages. Amazing. Thank you so much and so helpful. Um, we're going to take a little bit of make a little bit of a change now. We're going to go into some fun uh, presents. I'm not, the other ones are also fun, but this one's like, <laughs> we're going to bring in a little bit of, <laughs> fill in a little sparkle to uh, Wikidata. Uh, what's the next one, Lydia? Uh, the next one is one by Jan. Jan, do you want to show it? Do you want to talk about it? Should I show it? So it's really just a simple background that I made because I wanted to have one when Alvin and I were streaming, but I didn't manage to make a, a, an animated loop that was small enough to fit in a stream yard. And then I was thinking maybe I can do something in HTML and CSS instead. So this is pure HTML, CSS, and CSS. Uh, there's not even a Wikidata logos SVG there. It's all serialized in it. So very lightweight. And I think I made it so that you can just like put your own content in front of it. And there's a link to the code, and the code is CC0. So you can now all go and have your fancy <laughs> Wikidata moving backgrounds <laughs> for streaming, for party backgrounds, whatever you you want, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Thank you. And we love that it's lightweight. So helpful. Um, what is the next one? I think this one's also a little bit of like a bit of a pop. Uh, it's pop up. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got the word stuck in my head. Um, we have the twelfth Wikidata birthday pop up. It's the boo. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? <laughs> <laughs> fireworks. Okay. Uh, person who who built the popper. Are you around? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> yes, your present is on the screen now. Indeed. Uh, do you want to say something about it? <laughs> if not, that's also fine. Um, it's a very nice party popper, and I think it actually goes well with something we have here in the office. Arian, do you want to show it? Oh, I think you can do the honors, Lydia. Do we have a lighter? We do not have a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not allowed. It's a safety issue here. Oh, we have some muffins for us. <laughs> <laughs> because, of course, this is a birthday, so there has to be birthday cake, but we we, we did it with, uh, uh, with muffins. One for Lydia, one for Aaron. <laughs> we, we can share. We can share. We can share. <laughs> All right. Uh, Manchester, uh, do you want to uh, talk about your, uh, your present? I, actually, I forked uh, this uh, cord from a cord pen. Mm, yeah. So I searched the cord pen, cord pen for a lot of birthday ideas. So I got a whole lot of cord. And but I'm not satisfied with most of them. And at the end of the history, I got a small presentation uh, like this. 
uh, there was only one cake i just changed the text and changed the background and added more cakes <laughs> and, and added a, added a loop of that blast uh, uh, in a time loop yeah that said actually the code was done by some other person nice all right thank you so much thank you and for those who want to celebrate at home we put the link in the chat we love more cake uh we have another animation is that right we are never out of animations we love animations <laughs> so not good. with cake but with presents gift boxes <laughs> so good i'll put that one in the chat as well um if you just want to bring great vibes for your to celebrate the 12th birthday um next up we have a 3d model of the wikidata logo Ooh. oh my god you can print it at home are you going to print it at home i think i might have to <laughs> <laughs> i don't have a printer there. who made the wikidata Ooh. 3d model are you here that's really cool uh <laughs> we're gonna get one made for the office we actually should. We absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is really nice. Thank you. <laughs> so cool. Thank you. It will be put to use. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, all right. Next up uh, on. Oh, I'm going to actually link that uh, model in the chat for those who want to build one at home. Um, and then next up, we have a wiki-based REST API. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, uh, as you might know, uh, over the past year, we have developed a new API for uh, Wikidata, the Wikibase REST API. Um, and now, uh, as part of a fun thing here in the office, uh, people did um, create um, NPM package um, so it's easier to use the API. Um, in a, a JavaScript context, I believe. Um, so if you're a developer, uh, check it out and build cool stuff. Cool. Uh, we always love new tools. Um, all right. Uh, next on the agenda is the tabular online validator. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell us about that, Lydia. All right. So the uh, tabular online validator is a uh, improvement to uh, the entity schemas. So for those who don't know, Wikidata has entity schemas that are there to define how certain classes should log, and then you can um, uh, check items against them and see if they are modeled in the correct way that we have all agreed on, and so on. Um, the tool that does this checking is a bit complicated and not very nice. So when I sat down and made it better, um, and I can show you uh, how you made it better. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Um, and here we have already preloaded, I have prepared, um, <laughs> uh, an entity schema for um, organizations. It's not the greatest entity schema, but it works for demonstration purposes. Um, and then I can um, put in uh, my prepared query for all organization in Wikidata. And it just gives me two because um, I want to limit it to two. I put that in here. And then I say run query to fetch the entities. Then it gets me two organization. And then I click again, validate, and now it will check these two organizations that it found against this entity schema. It will tell me uh, if there are any issues in those two uh, items for, for those organizations. Um, and that will hopefully show up down here uh, in a bit. It's taking a bit. Um, this tool is not yet live on the one that you can access from Wikidata directly, um, but we'll work on that um, very soon. Oh, here. Yeah, there you go. So here on the first organization, 
well off. Never heard of them. Uh, but apparently there, the entity schema said there are some properties missing. Um, and here on the second one, um, it's missing some uh, properties. Um, yeah. So we will uh, work on getting that uh, to Wikidata uh, soon in this improved version compared to what is there right now. Bellover is actually a bike share company. Ooh. I was using them last week. It's very good. Nice. Okay, so something we love uh, almost as much as we love data uh, at Wikidata is games, specifically word games. Uh, what do we have next, Lydia? We have word games, indeed. And Finn, do you want to show it or do you want me to show it? Well, you can show it if, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll. Yeah. Currently, there are five different uh, games uh, in audio. There's uh, the Lea Lacroix Guess uh, or Daddy Das uh, variation on with the Guess the Gender at the upper left corner. Uh, that worked for um, various languages. Um, a few. Is that one? There's no response. Yeah. Sorry? Did you, did you press the button and the guess uh, didn't? Uh, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can select the language. I don't think that there's that many um, currently. Uh, I can put in a few more if, if you want. Yeah. I suppose you, yeah. Shall we try Danish? Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, let me see. Yes. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> uh, and yes, you, you need to, to choose between the two uh, right ones, and uh, not and, and common. Oops. So which one is it? <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, Neuter. Then let's click this. Woo, yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> and this will continue uh, to through 10 times, and um, the, the next one is common. Common. Whoa. Correct again. Yeah, also common, yeah. Also common? Yeah. Nice. Common. Most of these are common. Yeah. Um, you can just try to press all the comments there. And <laughs> at the very end, uh, it all will right. then show. Uh, oh. Show, uh, so, um, the overview. And these are the, the five games. Um, Go up to the. We'll all do that. There's a bit of one uh, that's flapping birds uh, inspired game that's called Flying Dehyphenator. Um, so do you want me to, to yeah, try that? Try it. <laughs> yeah, it's not so dangerous as, as the. And uh, you can try the Danish ones also. Uh, that, um, all right. It will take a bit of uh, time to. Uh, it's. Um, so assembling hyphenations or part of hyphenations, and you press this, um, I think the uh, space button, or you should come in some uh, things from the right. Ooh. And that uh, Turkish, uh, Turkish uh, you can take, the, take that one up there. Now it's a new one, it's Trek, I think. Yeah. I have uh, no idea work. what this could mean, but. <laughs> yeah, it means three, I think. Friday, was it the T T E R? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, All right. This morning there was a another game we played, which uh, I thought was very useful uh, for mm -hmm. language learners, um, which was the guess word from image. Yeah. Um. Well, let's you can take right. the Esperanto. Oh, yeah, Esperanto. <laughs> All right, let's take Esperanto. Ah, oh, nope. There you go. Ooh. That's probably orange. Sounds like it, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Indo European, that's. Yeah. Probably. Yes, yeah, that yeah. one there. Uh, our Esperanto is top notch. <laughs> What's that? I can't see. We're that. learning already. Yeah. I would say that is still to know. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I put the link in the uh, in the chat for those who want to continue playing at home. Um, but thank you so much, Finn. It, that is so, so helpful. We got lost in this. Uh, and Ifatu, I think, tried it on six, diff six or seven different languages uh, and found out that German was the worst language, unfortunately. Uh, and last but not least, we have ML scores, some multilingual calculator for Wikidata items. Uh, Lydia, tell us about that one. Right. Uh, do we have the author of an art scores around? No. Okay, then let's look at it. So, um, actually, this is better. Uh, open the, the blog post that explains it. So, um, John Samuel uh, developed a tool, and it is you give it an item. And then it will look at all the pro uh, properties that are on that item and give you an overview of uh, the languages that uh, those are translated to, to basically give you a sense of in how many languages can actually someone understand this item. Um, and do we have an example here? Yeah. So here on the uh, always uh, a favorite Q5 for human. Um, we have all these different uh, properties in the external identifier section in this case. Um, and uh, then you can use the tool, it's a command line tool uh, to give you um, uh, this, this table here, actually, let me use it a bit, this table here to uh, give you a sense, okay, for English, 99.4% uh, of the properties used on this item are translated or are have a label in English, um, whereas in Portuguese is 71.08 and so on. And then you can also um, uh, give it another option uh, to show you exactly which um, properties are missing uh, labels in a particular language. Amazing. Cool. Um, I have some good news. Uh -huh. We just got some, we just got an extra, got an extra present uh, called Telecac, uh, the Clapping Crow. Uh, Bodhi, you just added it in. Would you like to talk us through it? Okay. Uh, so this is uh, a tool which has been developed by Mahit. Uh, and uh, it is uh, alternative to Listeria because you know that Listeria sometimes doesn't work in uh, non-Wikipedia sites like Wikisource and Wiktionary and other places. So, and it al also it is also depending on only one developer, Magnus. So we have decided that maybe we can find an alternative. So we have um, Mahid has developed this tool, which is called Talika. Talika means list, and just uh, jargon of words, uh, clapping crow. And uh, we are using it uh, mostly to generate uh, list based on Wikidata on Bangla Wikisource right now. But it is also it will also work for Wikidata Lexemes uh, in coming days. And maybe it is still working. I am not sure, but uh, it will work on Lexemes anyway. Very cool. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, and I just saw that after our session, there is now a link to a page where uh, this is used on Bangla Wiki Source uh, to create a list of female writer. Uh -huh, here, yeah. So you get a list of female writers. In this case, with the pictures, if one's available on Wikidata. Um, so yeah, all based on a query to. So amazing, so helpful. Um, and these ones, we're into new territory now. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen any of these. I'm also very excited uh, to see what's coming up. Uh, next up, it looks like we have a map of accused witches in Scotland, version two. Let's look at 
the map of accused witches. Is someone here who worked on the map of accused witches and wants to talk about it? Nope. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. So this is uh, um, uh, worked on at or together with the University of Edinburgh, I think at the University of Edinburgh. And it's uh, about documenting uh, the history of um, witches in uh, Scotland and their persecution. Um, and you can um, zoom into different places and get a better understanding. Ooh, here, for example, um, about um, one woman accused of being a witch and uh, find out more um, about them in uh, this record here, for example. So yeah, if you're interested in the history of witchcraft, uh, then this is uh, something worth looking at. So amazing. I know that a lot of friends of mine will really love this. Um, uh, and ooh, next up, we have an invitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think we have the inviter here. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? Yes. So hello, everyone. Happy birthday. And this is an invitation, a video invitation for everyone to test the new beta version of Quick Statements. If you click it on, you'll see uh, uh, not the video, the, the, the beta version. Um, you see a um, new version that we in Wikimovement Brazil are developing. Um, we have divided in two cycles, one catching up with, to what Quick Statements already does. And then we are in the new phase of implementing new functionalities. So uh, I invite everyone to test and report bugs in GitHub and to see everything that we are doing. This is a partnership with Wikimedia Deutschland to uh, create a new version. It's written in Python. So uh, any developers that want to contribute, feel free to uh, commit a pull request and we will take a look at it. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so, so much. much. <laughs> and, and yeah, um, everyone, if you're using quick statements, go try it out, give the team feedback. Um, it, it will really help uh, make the next version of quick statement amazing. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? We have another last, one. Uh, yeah, last but not least, another map because a new motto is we love maps. We do love maps. <laughs> Lydia, what is one? Let's see what we have. So we have a map. Oh, and there's a red dot. Does that mean there was a there was someone editing? Yeah, I think this means someone edited this. Item. Live edits on Wikidata items with the coordinates. Yeah. So I think we'd have to wait a bit to oh, oh here. Yeah. Do you see it? More dots. <laughs> nice. It's like playing Wes Wally. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see. What is this? And, uh, a mine near Tower 19. Okay. There's one in Berlin. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, so many new dots. There's another one here and here. Okay, this is nice, very, very nice. <laughs> Amazing. Then of course, uh, Jan sniped the best uh, short URL <laughs> uh, for a query on the Wikidata query service, uh, the bins query. <laughs> Let's see what the bins query gives us. It might give us. I'm not sure things. it's the best one, but <laughs> it was a little bit fun. <laughs> it is I, a bit fun. <laughs> I think the best one might be capital B E N because it goes Which... to Big Ben. <laughs> nice. 
cool. So I guess we're wrapping up this section. Uh, thank you to everyone who came to watch, to everyone to, who built tools and extensions and everything contributed to present. It's uh, so, so wonderful to see um, and so fun to see all the ways that we're going to be using this data. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it was really cool to see all these new uh, big and small and uh, funny things. So thank you, everyone.